Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Red Knight One here at your service, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. I am your host, Red the Knight One. Now, last video though, last video we decided to actually take on the Phantom, which is the side quest boss, and Kardzisa, which is a powerful, amazing boss over on Agaba. Now, of course, though, this is another post-commentary, because, like always, though, when it comes to post-commentaries, there's always puppy rescuing, there's treasure hunting, trinity hunting, and so on. Right now, though, right now, I actually have to look it up on the wiki, though, thanks to the Kingdom Hearts wiki websites. There is a way, an easier way, of how to actually get the, the Serenity Stone you needed. Of course... This was actually a bit of a drag for me, because I didn't realize you can actually do this, though, which makes it a little easier. But I still remember that you have to actually get up to 40 tech points in order to actually do it. From there on, all you gotta do is summon Bambi, and use all stop spells, all oh, stop guzz, or stop rus, all on the, on the white mushrooms, so that way you can actually get the pink mushroom to show up. But... There's also a catch. Once you summon it out, though, you get one shot of using your stop spell on that pink mushroom. When you do, you have to actually use all melee, getting up to 40 hits or higher in order to actually get the item you wanted. This was a bit of a pain for me because I thought, though, that you can keep stopping it, though, at all times so that way you can still keep extending the attack. But instead, though, you have to not only use the... Yeah, not only you have to use it once, you gotta also make sure, though, that you have a certain ability, which is a pretty handy ability, the Arc... Arcanus... Arcarus, or whichever it is. And from that ability, though, Sora just using a whopping slashing melee attack while we're on certain enemies. Anyway, sorry if it actually took so long, though. It My recording, though, took an about two hours and 40 to 50 minutes to do all this to get the items you need to get to actually get the puppy rescuing mission done oh my god I had the longest recording of them all and as promised though once once we actually get the last of the remaining items um. There was a jerk thing that once you complete the synthesis, there's three left, and I don't think I'll be able to actually do that, though, because because of one thing, though. We need to hurry up and finish up the Kingdom Hearts LP. And from that on, though, when we finish up the Kingdom Hearts LP, though, I do want to actually finish up freaking text box, which I've been waiting to actually do that for some time. Oh, hang on one second, let me get myself a little coffee. Uh. There. Oh. And it's also still a bit of a drag, though, to live with grandparents. Anyway, as you saw, though, that tech point went up to, like, 60. That, that was the greatest, handiest ability of them all. Now... I was hoping to try and get one for Ragnarok in there as well, because, well, Ragnarok is one of my favorite abilities, but... Um... It's sort of a bit of a fail, though, because the Ragnarok ability not only allows you to do aerial attacks... During a certain combo point, though, Thor gets up in the air, points his Keyblade at the enemy, and it releases a beam attack. I think that's like a total of 20 or 15 of them who actually release the attack. Luckily, though, melee and normal attacks actually kind of work that far. And, well... I didn't have to worry about using a Ragnarok until now I get to use it. Oh, there it is. That, that was actually Ragnarok. Now, according to the synthesizer, you have to actually get... Um... Four of these. <clears throat> so that way, you can create the two requisite items. Which is the EXP ring. And the XP bracelet, I think. And this this one was a bit more satisfying though, because I could because thanks to the wiki though, I can actually finally get this job done a lot better 
And I hope we can actually finally get the chance to see what the ultimate weapons in this game will actually look like. Now, Ribbon. Ribbon is a really good item, because if you play Final Fantasy, though, it protects you from status attacks. Here, it's a pretty good another defense weapon, and it reduces every elemental damage by 20%. So you're covered against other attacks. Um, I will mention one more thing, though, that even though that we're going to do a lot of this LP, though, I do not want to actually show the level up system anymore. Anyway... This is the this is the jerkish um, heartless I've actually encountered before. This is the invisible striker though. In order to get this item, you have to keep wailing on him until he's visible. Once he's in, once he's visible, sorry, I meant to say, once he, I meant to say visible, like he's out of his visibility, you have to use stop spell on him. Once he's, once he's visible though, you stop and wail on him all the way. Just keep wailing on him. And you'll be able to get the energy stone from him. Yep, there it is, energy stone. You get it from him. Because that's actually one of our opposites. All right, now I didn't know this till before. Um, mystery goo is that you get it from these purple mushrooms. I don't know how, but I think I got lucky before. The mystery goo actually comes from these heartlesses known as the poison mushrooms. These guys, I think they were still mentioned in the original game, because there is an item where if you manage to actually get a mushroom mold, you can sell it for 3,000 money. And there it is. He goes down, and there is the mystery goo and the, the mushroom, mold, mushroom mold. And, well, this is pretty good money, though, but i rather actually just try and get the real ones. And the attack's going to be a bit of a bigger... the mission's going to be a bigger pain. It took all 2 hours and 40 minutes to 50 minutes to actually get a recording like this. But I'm grateful we're almost done. Don't forget to also speak to Geppetto in order to actually get the items you need. Well, the gummy ships you need. Because these are some good ones though that they are Hyperion? I've never heard of that. That you never get to see much in the game. Um... I will also note though that I forgot there was a treasure chest here. There was one more I forgot to grab. If you stand on this platform at the highest point and gl super glide all the way, you'll be able to get this treasure chest. And this treasure chest contains the dark matter, which is pretty good though because we need that one. Alright, now, for this heartless that was not appearing in the original, these are Neo Shadows. These guys carry the Storm stone the storm stone you have to keep taking them all down just keep wailing on them until they're gone these guys though were actually considerably one of the harder heartlesses because they'll actually go on the floor and they'll grab you and just hold you there they also do spin attacks as well <clears throat> now the reason why they were not in this game is because they would have been a bit difficult to actually fight against or they would have been a bigger nuisance but these guys, though, these guys are pretty cool. I mean, they're kind of scary at first when they're, like, a little bigger than you. And there's the Stormy Stone, which we kind of needed. But they were much of a challenge. Now, at last, though, there was one thing. In here, if you fly up here above, there are two treasure chests, though, you can actually grab. You need to gra make sure, though, you have the flight ability or glide ability. It's just, of course, you have to beat Captain Hook, you have to come back here, and you have to fly up. At long last, the missing puppy quest is complete. Oh. I had trouble trying to figure out where the rest of them are. Is. Now, I was going to also mention one thing, though, that... The annoying part about this one is that... Before you actually get the last synthesizing, of course, you do need Orichalcum, but you also need Mirth Stone. You need some Mirth and some Dark Matter. <coughs> Hang on. One second here. Good coffee right there. And the bigger pain is you need a ton of Orichalcums. So that way you can actually get the Dark Matter, you can get your um you can get the synthesizing done the reason why 
I have to keep going through all of this is because buying the Ori Calcums from Huey, Dewey, and Louie costs 5,000 money to actually buy the Ori Calcum. How did they even manage to actually get that item? I don't even... <coughs> Pardon me. Get that item. That's a bigger that's a bigger pain in the butt to actually go through all that. So I have to go through all this money grinding until I get the item I actually needed. Anyway, that's actually the last of them. So the only best way to actually money grind is to fight the heartlesses that carry money. At long last, that's done. Now for the bigger pain in the butt. And the last thing, we're not done here because once we... Oh, look, there's an achievement. Because there is one thing really missing over on the synthesizing. If you notice, though, there's 33. There's 33. And at the bottom... Fantasia, Seven Elements, and Ultima Weapon. Yep. Yep. I'll let you guys sink this in. <sighs> actually, luckily though, there are some good head starts, so I was able to actually grab those. So, you're gonna have to carry a lot of these. But I would suggest actually getting the important ones needed. I think later on I'll be able to show one more video on how to get these item requisites. But, however, we need to finish up the LP. So for right now, next time though, we're going to take on the final boss. And once that's done, I'll see if we can actually take on the last two side quest bosses and see if we can actually get this one here. Get the the requisite items. So, all that training, all that hard work. And this time though, for level grinding, there will be no level up shows. So next time though, we're going to take on the final boss. I am rather than I won at your service. And one more to show before we go.